Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tech Core Duo video. And today I wanted to take a look at the process of moving your iPhone's backup to an external hard drive. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, so this will not work on uh, Windows. There's a slightly different process that we'll cover in another video. Uh, the reason for wanting to do this is, uh, in my case, my iPhone backups get pretty large and the storage space on my Mac is limited, so I want to move that over to an external hard drive so I can free up space on my iMac. So let's get right into that process. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up a couple of uh, finder windows. Uh, so in this finder window we're going to have our iPhone. So let's get that out and plug it in. Uh, this is important. You want to make sure to plug it in and make sure that your phone d is detected. If you've never backed up your iPhone to your Mac before, this is important. If you've already backed up, do it anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and open up Finder. Now Finder is the way to back up your iPhone yeah, since Mac OS Catalina. Prior to that, you would use iTunes. Uh, once you have your iPhone up here, you may have to trust it if it's your first time. Let's click on Manage Backups. Okay, you may have something on this list if you've backed up before. Uh, if you haven't, this list is going to be clear. But make sure to check this list because it actually creates a folder uh, when you open up this window here. Okay, so let's click OK on that. We're good on this front. Next, we want to have another window open for our backup drive where we're actually going to be saving this stuff. So I have an external hard drive with about, it's almost 300 gigs large, so it's a pretty big drive. Make sure that your drive is at least, you know, the size of your backup preferably a little bit larger so you don't run out of space while doing a backup. Uh, you also want to make sure that it's formatted as Mac OS Extended Journaled. All right, let's close that out. That looks good. And finally, we're going to open up a third window here. Let's make a new one here, new finder window. Scooch it over to the side. And this will be our actual directory f that the iMac is currently storing the backups on. So we'll click on go and let's hold down the option key. That'll bring up the library. All right, from the library, we're going to go to application support. From application support, we're going to find mobile sync. Right, and this is the backup folder that contains all of your backups or no backups, depending on if you've already backed up once or not in the past. Uh, another thing to note is that on the iPhone side, make sure that you have automatically sync this iPhone uh, not checked. You don't want it to do anything when you're connecting it. Okay, now let's go over to a terminal window. Uh, you can find terminal by going to Spotlight and doing a search for terminal. You can open it that way. I'm just going to make this a little bit larger here so we can see a little bit better. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to type clear just to get rid of everything so we have a clean slate to work with. Let's navigate to the internal iMac directory for our backups. So we'll type cd dildo forward slash library forward slash application and we're going to do a backslash because there's a space there support forward slash mobile sync it's an uppercase s and hit return all right now that we're in that directory we can see that we're in mobile sync what we're going to need to do is rename this backup here to old itunes backups so we're going to use the mv command backup is the current name. We're going to do a space and we'll name it old-itunes-backup. All right, and now we know that worked because we see the change happened up here and within the finder window. All right, so we're all on the same page. Next, we're going to need to make a directory within our backup drive where our backups are going to be stored. So we're going to type mkdir
All right, so I just created the iOS backup folder. And within that folder, I'm going to create another one. Uh, I just did the up arrow key there, and I'm going to call it backup. All right, let's verify that that folder is in there. Excellent. So I have another folder called backup within that one. So what we need to do now is create a symbolic link for Finder to know that, hey, whenever a backup occurs, to place it into the external drive instead of into the mobile sync folder. So let's type that out. I'm just going to drop a few lines down. So we're going to do a symbolic link, ln dash s. Easiest, the easiest way to do this, instead of having to type it out, we can actually drag in the folder. So let's open up this directory here and drag in this backup folder. All right, now that we have that folder there, we can go ahead and drag in the mobile sync folder. And the best way to do that, uh, let's just go back one level. And let's drag in the mobile sync here. Mobile sync, and one more time, forward slash, backup. All right, before I hit return, I'm just going to open up this mobile sync folder so we see what happens. All right, now that I have that typed out there, let's hit return. And as you can see, there's a little alias within this mobile sync folder now. So we know that successfully, this backup folder has has a symbolic link within the mobile sync folder. Now let's give it a test run and see if we can back up our iPhone. Okay, so I have my phone plugged in and let's click back up now. And you can tell it's processing because there's a little spinning gear here. All right, looks like it's complete. Last backup today at 1048. Let's open up the backup drive folder and see if it's in there. Excellent, so we know that that successfully worked, that backup has completed. Now, th this is for those of you who have already backed up before and would like to move your old backups to this uh, new folder that you just created. You can actually check manage backups and you'll see okay so this is the one we just did now but what about your old backups that you used to have so you can also take those from this old itunes folder that we created let's open that in a new tab all right and we can open up our backup folder on our hard drive that we just made and we can actually move it into here let's give it a sec to copy Actually, it's a pretty big copy for me. It might also be for you. So let's give it a second. Let's do its thing. All right, that copy has successfully completed. I've just copied it over to the external backup drive. Let's go ahead and check manage backups again, see if we have anything else in there. All right, there we go. Now we have both backups, the one we just created and one of our old ones. Now that we know that those are successfully in there, we can go back to the old backups folder and we can actually delete this old iTunes backup to free up space on our hard drives and that's of course if you've had backups before if this is your first time doing this you won't have anything in there so I'm going to go ahead and move to trash and empty the trash that just freed up a ton of space on my, on my hard drive one thing just to be aware of make sure that your hard drive of course is plugged in when you're trying to do backups in the future otherwise it won't be able to find a directory and it'll create a new directory once again on the internal hard drive so always double check make sure that the drive is connected and mounted that sums up this video thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and we hope to see you next time